Please join me for our entrance verse now on page four. We'll do the first reading. The Spirit of the Lord has sealed the whole world, and that which contains all things understands what is said. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine fire that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, feel now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a stone driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appealed to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites and have some Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Persia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Serene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. 
May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my thing. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew your faith spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we are all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Please join for our sequence. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial tongue, shed a bright light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, sellers of all our store. Come, then our bosom shine. You are comforter of the best. You, the soul's most welcome guest. Sweet refreshment, give me love. In our labor, rest most sweet. Grateful coolness in the heat. Solace in the midst of love. A message of love Shine within these hearts of yours. And our inmost being fill. Where you are not, we have not. Nothing good in deed or thought, nothing free from taint or ill. Till our wounds, our strength renew. Of our dryness, pour your dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore. In your sevenfold gift you send. Give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed him his hands and his sides. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, for whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost. This was the day the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples gathered in the synagogue, the upper room, in the east of the city of Jerusalem. As we just read, there was a violent wind from heaven that filled the room, and tongues of fire rested on each of them, and all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. First, allow me to provide a little bit of history this morning. Pentecost, literally the 50th day, dates back to the time of Moses. Fifty days after the Passover, on the day Moses led God's people from Egypt, the children of Israel arrived at Mount Sinai. It was here that Moses ascended the mountain and returned with God's law. With that law, 
God had proclaimed the people would celebrate three pilgrim festivals during the year. The Festival of Unleavened Bread in our calendar, late March, early April, or Passover, the Feast of Harvest of the First Fruits of Their Labor, also called the Feast of Weeks, Pentecost, and the Festival of Ingathering, late September to mid-April, also called the Feast of Tabernacles. Turning to the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verse 16, the verse you'll find at the top of your handout, it reads, You shall count until the day after the seventh Sabbath, 50 days, then you shall present an offering of new grain to the Lord. In other words, on the first day of the week, Sunday, seven weeks after the Saturday of Passover, exactly 50 days, God asked for a grain sacrifice from his people. As you have may have guessed by now, this was the very beginning of what we celebrate this morning. But we also celebrate the beginning of Christ's church on earth. The first fruits, the beginning of God's harvest, came to be on this day. As St. Peter addressed the crowds that gathered at the sound of the violent wind from heaven, the first converts, some 3,000 people, received the gift of the Holy Spirit. In the early church, those first converts proclaimed the entire 50 days following the resurrection of Christ as Pentecost. Today, we celebrate it only on this day. The red vestments that we wear this morning as we celebrate this solemnity are worn to symbolize the fire of the Holy Spirit in our midst. In Matthew 3.11, John the Baptist proclaimed, I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. J.R.R. Tolkien, a devout Catholic, in his work, The Silmarillion, likened this fire to a flame imperishable. He called it the secret fire. He wrote, only by means of the secret fire can something of substance or life be made from nothing. Trained as a shipboard firefighter in the Navy, we were taught that a fire is a living, breathing entity. It can be extremely powerful. It is most often unpredictable. Yet it can come to our aid, cooking our food, warming and lighting our homes. We can say that the Holy Spirit fits this description also. The Holy Spirit is for us the living presence of God dwelling within us, filling us with spiritual nourishment, warming our hearts, and illuminating our path to God. Also recall the disciples on the road to Emmaus, were our hearts, hearts not burning within us. And like fire in a furnace, fire can purify. The Holy Spirit works to purify, to cleanse, and refine. From the Book of Wisdom, like gold in a furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. But what of the wind that swept through the house that day? The Greek word pneuma, spelled P-N-E-U-M-A, means wind, breath, or spirit. Living where we are, we all realize the power of the wind. It can sweep in suddenly, seemingly from nowhere, driving away all in its path. The wind signifies activity and a change to new life. The Holy Spirit, the breath of God, brings new life. It is sometimes, like the wind, unpredictable in its sweeping movement, stirring a soul to action. And yet the Holy Spirit can come to us gently, just as to Ezekiel, in a still small voice. All of this and more happened that day of Pentecost some 2,000 years ago. But two questions remain for each of us to answer this morning in our hearts. Can this fire illuminate God's word in us, causing our hearts to burn just as it did for the disciples on the road to Emmaus? And can we, by this wind from heaven, stand against the evil wind that surround us on all sides? To answer these, let us all this Pentecost pray for the breath of God, that wind from heaven, 
and the ever-burning fire of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. This, then, is our hope. Mother Mary, in your mercy, pray for us. I in one God, the Father of all, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, Son of God, Lord of all the four languages, God from God, light from light, to God from God, 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 to God from for us men for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Lord. He will come in the Lord and judge the living and dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, the wicked Father and the Son, and the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism with the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the whole world, that it may know the peace given by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our brothers and sisters who suffer that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray for the, to the Lord. Lord have mercy. And for you, our parishioners, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary's intercession during this month in her honor as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, you Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work of our hands. will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands. Pray, the Lord, and his name. For our good Father, Holy Spirit. Grant, we pray, Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, O Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your pastoral mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children. By uniting them to your only begotten Son, this same Spirit as the church became to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in Profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcoming with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, behold your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by them now in your spirit, and on the night that you call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, us Savior of the world. world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old man who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have Join for our communion verse, found on page 91. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke of the marvels of God. Hallelujah.
let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, say to God, we pray the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that it, this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. When Mass is ended, go in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pray to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in hell. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, for us in hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of commandment, blessed be the man of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious love, blessed be Jesus in the most of the heaven and the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, our parents, Blessed be your holy and manifestation. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And blessed be God and his angels and his saints.